Alright guys, so our game's coming along. Now we're at the point where what we want is now we want to make it so that when we get to a point where all the blocks are colored across the row, then they should disappear. So like these two lines should disappear and everything should shift down. So this is gonna be fun. Actually it's gonna be a three part thing. So essentially here's the pseudocode. Well not even pseudocode, it's just like what we're going to try to do. And um, trying to do this, my friend Ke <coughs> Kenan and I did that, did this together, and um, it was pretty cool. It was a great little collaboration, and it worked. And within a few hours, or <laughs> really, I mean, we were busy teaching at the same time, but uh, in between passing periods, we were able to get this code working. So, um, try to write that code. So, you're going to write basically in the background class, you're going to first write a way to check to see if a line is full of colors, and then well, just do that part first. So let's just try to write a, a method and just have it like print to the screen full line so that you know it's done. So try to see if you can get the computer to be checking for a full line first. And then if that's happening, then we can move on to removing that line. So let's go. So it works, as you can see. <laughs> uh, it took me forever to actually build a full line, but finally got a full line and it's printing full line. So let's look at the code. Um, essentially what I did is in the display function, since this is doing all our drawing, I just added another one. The only reason I did that is because that's the one that I'm calling, so I'm only doing bg.display in the draw. So this is kind of like my main thing. I could, of course, just build more code like I did with the shapes, but just to make it simpler to test, I put it in the display function. I'll probably move this into something else, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and check all 24 lines. So each line, I'm gonna go and check them. So you have to check all of them. You can't just check the bottom line. So you gotta go through and check all of them. And if it is full, it'll print full line, which is what it did. So the fact that it says full line means that my code is written correctly. So let's look at the code, pretty simple. Basically, public boolean check line with it takes a parameter of the row, so which row you're gonna check. It took me a little while to remember how to index it correctly, but the row is, if you look at the um, constructor, it tells you 12 by 24 by three. So there's 24, so that's the number of rows. 12 is the columns. So it just doesn't really matter how you conceptualize it as long as you got the numbers in the right place. So therefore, that means the row will go here in the second place. It goes from um, 0 to 24. This is going to check from 0 to 12, or 0 to 11, I guess. And that will check to see if any of them. And basically, I'm looking for any of those squares to be black. So the way that they would be black is if all three colors were 0. So if all three colors, so these are ands, so and, and, and. So if, if the first color is zero and the second color is zero and the B is zero, then all three colors is zero, it's a black square. It's not a full line, it returns false. If it doesn't return false, so that means it goes through all of these and it doesn't get to that point, then it will return true and that means we have a full line. So let's go ahead. Now what we wanna do is we want to basically remove those lines. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Well, the easiest way would be to just make them all black, right? So you can make them all black, make them all disappear. But essentially, you don't need to do that. If you think about it, what you actually need to do is you you can kind of do this at the same time. So basically, you, you can just remove them. I guess we'll set them all. We could just make them all black real quick. So why don't we try that? Why don't we just make them all black first? Then we'll just shift everything down. It doesn't really matter. So let's try that. So go ahead and make them all black.
Okay, so as you can see, it works. So I've got it all working. That means that when I make a, of course, you know, I'll never get the right pieces, but oh, I can just stick this sucker in there so I can just make that black. So now when it does that, we're basically removing them all to black. So essentially, all we have to do now is just shift everything down. So this is a little bit harder. So I think the idea what you want to do is what you, you want to do is you want to basically make a new array for the background. Remember, this is all the background. So we're going to basically copy it, but from the black line and down, essentially, so everything below the, so one more than the black line, we just want to copy it, okay? Everything else that's black, we want to erase it and shift all of the other colors down. So essentially, you just want to copy <laughs> the part below it and then you want to copy the part above it and push it down and then anything that's left up on top will just be zeros okay so I mean I can't really explain it but I think you got it so hopefully you got that so go for it this will be the hardest part and then once you've done this you're pretty much done except for a little tiny detail so oh my gosh we're almost finished good luck Okay, so I think this is going to work. So this should basically eliminate this line. This line should stay, and unfortunately, I think the top ones will be gone. But we'll see what happens. Okay, so it worked. So what does that mean? So what I've actually done is I actually deleted the other stuff. So this is what we had done just a second ago. I actually told you, you actually don't need to make them black. We're just going to remove them, essentially. So let's actually look at what we've done. So this is kind of the how... So actually, we don't even need to shift them either, because we're just basically... I don't know, maybe I didn't think of this the first time or Ken and I were just doing something different. But essentially all we have to do is copy the entire array of the colors array into a new background. And But we're only going to do it from the bottom until we get to whatever row we've removed. Okay, so after that we're going to then, so then for this part, just to test it, I have not actually added any um, other colors. So the rest of it is gone because I haven't done that yet. But essentially, I'm going to take out the row and then copy everything else. So essentially, all I've done is I've copied everything up until we get to the row. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this exact same thing. So I'm going to do this also for everything above the row. So everything above the row, everything below the row gets copied and put into that place. All right. And I think that's going to be... So we are going to have to check this to see if this works when there's two rows at the same time but I think it should be okay it should handle itself but let's go ahead and test that so essentially complete this the same way and let's see how it goes
It's almost done. So it's actually working pretty good. It's, it's a uh, it drops itself down. So I actually had to copy Kenan's code because I couldn't quite figure out what was going on. But watch this. As soon as it fills out, boom, it drops it all down. So that's pretty awesome. And now we're pretty much done. So now we can just start playing Tetris and you can start adding a score counter. So let's look at the actual code that I did add. So what I was doing was I was actually adding, um, I tried to just copy this and just change the row, but it, it doesn't actually work. So um, what I did was I just went on to Kenan's method that we did together. So he had written this for me. And it's pretty much the same idea that I had in my head, but didn't seem to work out the right way. So you know what, sometimes it just, your brain's not working right or something. So essentially you can see you start at the row and you just start um, going all the way up to one um, and you, uh, I'm sorry, down to one. And then you just do all 12 blocks and you just start filling them in and you just do them less, one less than it basically dropped it down now I did test this with multiple rows and it works just fine so so far so good it looks like our game is pretty much finished look that was all we did by the way we did this all in the same um, same uh, uh, function so we didn't actually end up writing three functions so we did check the line but then we just made it we, did, we called it make black but I guess we shouldn't call it make black because that's not really what it's doing we should call this um, remove line so that's what that does right it removes the line so we check the lines and we remove the line so let's go to so if check line remove line and what's cool is that this happens so fast that by the time it gets to the next one it looks like it happens at the same time so I think we're pretty much finished can I add a score counter let's just do that real fast before I publish this I'm definitely not going to make a new um, Let's see, what are we going to do? Let's just do it right here. We'll do private uh, score. What is it called? Score. We'll just call it int score. So we'll start that at zero. And we'll do colors, top background. So when we do this remove line thing, we'll say also we'll do score plus plus. So how about we'll just do it here? So if ever we are told to remove a line, we'll go score plus plus. So that'll give us a, a point. Okay, and let's see. So let's go into our Tetris. So the first thing we do is our background, then we do our grid, then we draw our shapes, and we're doing our on deck um, display. That's the show on deck, that's with all that text. So I think what I'll do is I'll do, um, I'll just do fill zero, I'll put, do it in black, and then I'll say um, text score and I'll just put this at the bottom somewhere plus and then I'll do bg dot score since that's keeping track of how many lines we've removed and we'll do it at width over two plus a hundred and then we'll do height minus a hundred ah, let's see if that works so oh, what am I doing it's supposed to be or an M, <laughs> one of those. All right, score zero. Okay, so now we'll use Sophia and Lillian's trick. We're gonna copy this. We're gonna change the fill color to white. And we'll paste this in. Bang. And we'll do 105. We'll do five pixels of shadowing. Height minus. 95 so it'll be down I think that's right yeah all right yeah, yeah. she's so <laughs> anyways hope you guys enjoyed it looks like our game's finished actually I don't know what else I'm going to cover I guess I will actually do some of the details but I mean essentially your game is done so hope you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to like subscribe and tell all your friends and all that stuff. See you next time.